What's up guys? Today we are going to be talking about a very hot and controversial topic in the world of Fortnite right now and honestly gaming in general. I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard about this because everybody's talking about it. It's all over the headlines and lots and lots of people, including myself, are pretty upset by it. But we're going to be talking about the whole fiasco with like PlayStation and Fortnite and crossplay and everything else like that. So uh, really, this came to light with the release of Fortnite on Switch. So it came out the other day. Obviously an exciting thing to be able to play Fortnite on the go. Fortnite's the biggest game in the world right now. So people being able to play on the bus or on the plane or anything like that is really, really cool. And uh, it was very exciting, except for the fact that Sony is not enabling crossplay between PlayStation players as well as Switch players. And uh, although this kind of stinks, it would be nice to be able to play with your friends when you're on your Switch and, and moving around and traveling and that sort of thing. It's really not the biggest deal in the world if that's where it ended because, I mean, they don't allow you to play with Xbox players either. Right now, PlayStation can only play with iPhone and PC players, whereas Xbox can play with literally everything except for PlayStation because Sony's the one blocking it. The real problem is, is that they are actually blocking and, and like banning your account from playing on other platforms. So like if you, if you have an Epic Games account that's tied with the PlayStation account and you go to sign in on Switch, this is the message you get right here. It says, this Fortnite account is associated with a platform which does not allow it to operate on Switch. Neither the Fortnite website nor Epic customer service are able to change this. To play Fortnite on Switch, please create a new account. Now, apparently this has been a problem going on for a while. Apparently, previously, if you had an Epic Games account that was tied with a PlayStation account, you try to log into Xbox, it wouldn't work either. But it wouldn't tell you this outright. The Switch one outright tells you that the reason why you can't is because it's tied with a platform which does not allow it to. So, again, it's Sony that's doing this. And this is like, this is pretty messed up if you think about it. Like literally not allowing two platforms to play with each other, like that's that's fine, I guess. If you wanna do that, I mean, it's not ideal, but if you wanna do that, that's fine. But to literally, essentially like these accounts are like infected in a way. Like if your Epic Games account has ever become associated with PlayStation, you can't play with it anywhere else. That's messed up. And we never knew that this was happening. Like we never got any forewarning that that was gonna be the case or anything like that. And the worst part is, is even if you unlink your PlayStation ID from your Epic Games account, you still can't do it. So if at any time you have ever logged in to a, a PlayStation with your Epic Games account, you can't play Fortnite on any other console platforms out there. And so obviously that's a really big deal. Obviously lots and lots of people are very upset. I'm upset about it. I mean, you guys know, I love Sony, I love PlayStation, I enjoy all the consoles, I play all the consoles, I play all the games, but if I was to choose one, PlayStation would definitely be my choice. I'm sure you guys know that, you can call me a Sony pony if you want, or whatever else. I enjoy PlayStation, I love their games, I love their developers, I love their exclusives and stuff like that, but this really, really sucks. Like, I, I do not agree with this whatsoever. And uh, like I said, tons and tons of people are super upset about this. Greg Miller actually posted on Twitter. He's got over 8,500 retweets right now, and he, I think he summed it up pretty well. He said, PlayStation fixed this. Not allowing me to sign into Fortnite Switch with my Epic account because it's linked to PS4 is tone deaf and points to more fear than market dominance. It does the opposite of what you want. It makes me think about moving to Xbox for Fortnite. So, I'm sure you guys know, but the reason why Sony and PlayStation are doing this is because they're the current market leaders. They are by far the best selling console. They have the most players, that sort of thing. So basically they're trying to play this game of, oh, I'm so high and mighty. I, I'm not gonna allow other people to play with me because we have the biggest market share. If you wanna be on PlayStation, you're gonna have to buy a PlayStation. You're gonna have to pay for it. You know what I mean? Whereas a lot of the other developers out there are like, dude, we're down to do this. You know what I mean? So uh, check this out right here. This is a message from Reggie Phil's AIM, the CEO of Nintendo North America. He said, you have companies like mine that encourage crossplay and enable crossplay. You have a developer and content owner that wants crossplay and is encouraging crossplay. And then you have platform holders. That's a decision that each of them are making. Some are supporting crossplay and some are not. So basically, Nintendo or Switch is saying, hey, we're in favor of crossplay. Epic Games is in favor of crossplay, but obviously Sony is not not allowing it. Like that's that's where the disconnect is. Everybody is in favor of it except for Sony. And then Xbox Phil Spencer, the like president of gaming at Microsoft, they had this to say in a live interview from E3. If you bought your your son, your 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 child uh, an Xbox, and I bought my child a PlayStation, and I'm just a parent, like it's birthday, whatever, mm -hmm. and my kids wanna go play Fortnite, and they all of a sudden go home and they can't 
play with each other. I, I don't know that that, it's, it's not, doesn't feel like it helps the consumers. I see this world, if it doesn't help the developers and it doesn't help the consumer, then it doesn't feel like it helps grow gaming to me. So again, Xbox is saying they're like, hey, we're in favor of crossplay. let's make this happen. There's only one reason to blame for why it's not happening, and that reason is Sony. So literally everybody is in favor of crossplay. All the fans are in favor of crossplay. Literally everything points to saying crossplay is great, except for Sony. And again, it's a business move. It's them saying, hey, we're the market leaders. If you want to play with us, you got to be one of us, which is understandable, I guess. Like from a, that's one way you can handle your business. I personally don't agree with it, but maybe I'm naive and I, I don't know the numbers and everything else like that, honestly. So maybe they have some insight that this is the way to go. To me, it sounds like it's a super outdated practice. It sounds like something that should stay in the past and we should kind of work towards a more congregated future. At least that's what I would like to see. That's what most gamers would like to see. I don't know, we'll have to wait and see what happens. However, Sony has made an, a, a response or like a statement to this. They've, they've talked back and honestly, I, I didn't like this one either. So they said, we're always open to hearing what the PlayStation community is interested in to enhance their gaming experience. With more than 80 million monthly active users in the PlayStation network, we've got a huge community of gamers who can play together on Fortnite and all online titles. We also offer Fortnite crossplay support with PC, Mac, iOS, and Android devices, expanding the opportunity for Fortnite fans on PS4 to play with even more gamers on other platforms. We have nothing further to add beyond at this point. So, again, I mean, I feel like that was kind of like a, a, a dick measuring contest. Like, oh, we've got 80 million monthly active users, more than everybody else. And again, that's kind of, it's this is all based on competition. That's why they're not pushing towards this. But uh, when they say that they're open to hearing what the PlayStation community is interested in, I think I can safely speak for the entire community. We want f cross play. Fortnite right now is the biggest game in the world. It would be nice to have it on that, but even moving forward for other games, I mean, I think some games in the past have done it like Rocket League and stuff like that. We would just like to see this. Gamers want to be able to play with each other. I could assure you that people are still going to be buying PlayStations because they prefer the exclusives or they prefer the, the you know, system or whatever else. Just because they're going to be able to play with their Xbox friends doesn't mean next time the consoles come out, they're going to buy an Xbox. In fact, if everybody can play together, they can actually choose the, the system that they want more rather than choosing what they can play with other people. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. I just... I. I'm really upset by it. I would love to be able to play Fortnite on my Switch, on my main account, or on my Xbox, or anywhere else. And I would love eventually for all games to come together and be able to play together. I think that's what would really help out gamers. That's what would push gaming up higher and ultimately get more people involved and probably end up making more money for everybody. So I'm hoping that, you know, Fortnite is the biggest game that we have ever had in like the history of gaming. I'm hoping that this is the one that kind of swings the pendulum and, and, and kind of causes some change here. I'm hoping that Sony, which again, I feel like it's kind of an outdated practice, an outdated idea. I'm hoping Fortnite is so big and there are so many players and so much feedback from this. I'm hoping they change their views a little bit. I think that would be better for gamers all over the world, but uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens. So. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Just wanted to make a video kind of addressing this because it's a, a huge, huge deal right now. And uh, let me know what you guys think. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Enjoy the rest of this gameplay here. I'm going to catch you guys later. Peace out. Do you have any rockets? Uh, yes. And I have a med kit for you. Sweet. And he There's has a, a bunch of pack. stuff right there in the, the... Oh, wow. Yeah. Here's another RPG. I'm dropping the medkit for you. Uh, I didn't see any rockets. I, oh, I picked them up. I'm going to drop... Go, oh, go, shoot. Go, let's go, go, let's go, go, let's go, let's go. Anybody have a launch pad? No. No, we don't need it. We don't need it. Here, Jimmy, I'm going to drop rockets right behind me. That's fun. We're okay, boys. Ten left. Six others, or seven others, I mean. We got this. Trevor, I got a mini shield for you. Let me get in. Oh, seven they killed somebody uh, south, exactly south. Right. Below this mountain. Yeah, it's going down in the, the, the barn. Yeah, the whatever that is.
Got a guy flanking left. He's in the left, the little like cubby thing over there. I dropped some minis for you. That's fun. Got to see him. There's one underneath though. John Wick. He's right, right below us. Dang it, man! Why would he try you. to shoot me when he's getting rocket shot at him? You got him? Yep. Yeah, they're, they're pushing. He, he's getting ready. Yeah, he's building up. Jimmy's got him though. Hey, I got him. I got him. He fell. He fell. He fell. Okay. Now he's here. Fuck. Rip. He's he's down there. He's Super up. weak. He's, he's coming, coming up. up. He's coming up. He should be one shot. Got him knocked. Nice. Don't thirst. Don't thirst him. Right. Picking up. The other one's in my base. The other, guy. other one's in my base. Yeah, yeah. I'm picking uh, up right West, now. 240. I mean, 240. Two seconds. You're fine. You got those minis still, or you need more? Uh, I need more. If you got them. My, my got mini them? man. Appreciate it. Yep. Yeah, I went back in the storm and there was 10 he's of in them. The, he's 250. 250. All right. Loading up. We gotta, where are the other guys? We gotta get eyes on the other guy. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. I'm trying to see where they're at. But I don't see, but did you thirst the guy underneath yet? No, I didn't touch him. We need hills, so. You know where he's at? I'm pushing with Jimmy to get this guy. He's trying to heal, I think, Jimmy. I hit him. I got him. I got him. I got him. Nice. I don't know where this other guy died at. It sounded pretty. Uh -huh. Down to three oh, rockets, there's a guy there. at 105, 105 on the... On the what? Back side of trailer park in the hill. He's at 105. Trevor, if you're making to me, I got uh, minis again. And bandages. I'm bandaging up right now. He's behind the back wall. Okay. Where's the rest of everybody? I don't know, oh, you got dude. got a guy this coming up weird. on you, Joker? If you're still in there, you're not... I'm not in there. This guy's an idiot. He's one shot at the top of our old base. The circle's coming in, boys. Got him. Need those rockets? Oh, never mind, you got it. Let's go. I, I have six. Okay. I can I can, I can drop you some too. Circle. Just drop them inside, drop them inside. Good job, guys. I have no idea I where these here. guys are. This has been a bit chaotic, huh? I like oh, it. yeah. It's fun. Oh, four right here. Four. <laughs> oh, my God. I got him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my <laughs> God. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> oh, oh my god, dude, that was insane.